No scratch that. He's trying to check the back of Brian Marks. Aiken moves it forward with 6.20 now left in the second. Aiken gets past Sanford, plays it at the far corner with Ayers checking at the back of his number 10 counterpart. Ayers and, Ayers and Aiken going at it now. Aiken twisting Ayers and trying to give a couple fists. And August Aiken just put Cody Ayers down on the ice. August Aiken had enough of Cody Ayers. You do not see August Aiken fight every day. And neither do you see Cody Ayers fight every day, but August Aiken made quick work of the leading point score for Danbury and Cody Ayers. Both gentlemen will serve five for fighting. Now in the near faceoff circle, Dayton's defending zone. Felton fires a pass behind the back, Mignon plays it on the bounce. Yon into the attacking zone now. He's dropped down. Felton shot, score! Jesse Felton ties it up at one with his 29th goal on the season. And we have a tie game with 16-13 left to go in the third. Jesse Felton fires it past the net of Mike Brown. Both shutouts are gone tonight. And we have goals in the net. Jesse Felton with goal number 29. But first, Igor Karlov with his 11th goal for the Whalers. We're tied at one. The fans start to make a bit of noise as Jesse Felton's goal seems to put an electric shark into the fans sitting down and all the sections of Hera. Last time, the last time that Dayton was on a power play Jesse Felton tied it up at one apiece. Picked up by Ahmed Mafus, far hand side. Mafus slices it over. Karazovic looks. He'll look around. He'll slap it over. Skinner. Skinner to Mafus. Score! Ten seconds gone from the five on four. And Ahmed Mafus with an open right ground shifted over towards the right. Mafus dumps in his 36th goal of the season. And we're tied up at two. 548 left to go in the third. The Demons wasted no time in that power play. They took 10 seconds to strike it past Mike Brown. And for the second time tonight, Dayton has tied it up. It's now 2-2 two two with 5.48 left to go in the third. Behind him, Mafus finds Karazovic. Can he get the game-winning goal here? He pulls it towards the near point. Between the points, and McClure, and it goes! And that is the game! Lee McClure with a game-winning goal, and Dayton wins in overtime, three to two! With 1.25 left in overtime, the Demons knock off the Danbury Whalers. Jeff Rose jumps up his whole team with Kinsella. He'll jump in that pile, too. Wow, oh wow, Lee McClure with the game-winning goal. I said it yesterday and I said it on Thursday. Welcome back, Lee McClure. Final score in overtime, the Dayton Demons three and the Danbury Whalers two. With the win, Danbury. Scratch it, with the win, Dayton picks up their sixth overtime win but that gives them 35 total on the season. They improved to 35, 12, and three. Whereas Danbury, they pick up just their eighth overtime loss. They fall to 31, 11, and eight. What a game, what a game. We'll catch our breath one more time. We'll recap, we'll recap tonight's action and we'll bid you adieu until next Sunday when the Demons bow the Dashers. Stay with us, folks. You're listening to the Gem City Sports Network, and you're watching it live on the FHL Sports Network. Stay with us.